I'm Timmy. I'm Justin. I I'm gonna play the part as Nathan this time. Can we do that? Let's do that. That's cool. I wanted to be Nathan this time. <sighs> oh well, I'll let you do it. One more okay. Time. He's always Nathan. Now this is three old tech dudes. <laughs> Okay. Puppy power. Puppy power. Puppy power. What's that? Wow. This looks like. I haven't heard that one for a long time. Is this a board game? Nope. This oh. is. I'm going to set it like this. Yeah, so okay. can see it. Can there see we go. It. So we did a video a while back on the 201. We did. Electronics kit. And we thought, well, hey, why not? And because I. You go watch that. You can go up here. Yep. And we'll so, have that over there. Yeah. So it should be above. Justin's head? Yeah. We think. We don't know. I think. Unless you're watching we it on know Roku. Or I think wrong. Yeah. It varies greatly. Cards only work. It does it really? Places. Oh, it does it really? Does Roku okay. do cards? Nope. I don't think so. <laughs> so, that's weird. Yeah. It, I don't think so. Do cards. We, probably, we should probably put a link down at the bottom, too. So, this is an older one. This was... Uh, so, I actually got one of these. This actual model when I was probably 10. Yeah, we'll use the camera there. And I found it in an antique shop in Mitchell. Um, squeak. Oh, Sorry. No. Um, back in the day, and I, you know, and I just, you, I got these when I could because they were kind of fun. I had several of them over the years. Sure. And nobody if, said you'll burn the garage down. Um, it, no, because this didn't have anything to create fire with. Unfortunately, um, well, not much anyway. I, I think. Say, if I bet if we operated it wrong enough, uh, it's possible. <laughs> um so this was one that i actually found because i was trying to find one for my nephew mm-hmm. and i did find one for him i got him the the uh 7551 i remember. um anyway so i got one for him to learn some basic electronics because it's a kit right it's right. so it's got all the little things you can do is you know with your kids or with you know if you're a kid and you just want to do yourself if you get your parents to get this thing there are several of these out there and they still make some of this kind of stuff it's not by the same company this was actually from radio shack this was one of their subsidiary companies called science fair um and it even so the catalog number on this in case you're curious in case you want to go look this thing up on radio shack catalogs.com which is really cool by the way is catalog number 28-250 it's that old early <laughs> number huh early number well that was way shorter than yeah <laughs> so in this thing so if you want to get your thing you've got let's turn this around so you can see it on it so in this thing you got when you open the box you got the manual which is actually that <laughs> it's upside down sorry and in all this is here's how to make this is really let's open it to high voltage generator that's probably not a good one <laughs> let's find it there you go so it's full of electronics projects that you can do with your kids or with your nephew or grandkids or whatever and you know if you you know like if you had one of these as a kid and you think this would be something like you know really neat for like your grandkids or something like that you know i would highly consider these they're they're still very very easy to find there's a lot of them out there uh if you did though also leave us comment as to what you what you had which one of these versions you had and, and did you enjoy it do you use it still i mean so yeah i go back to one it's kind of fun here in the front of this book I can open it up carefully. And of course, table contents. It's got all the ones you can do. So some of these are kind of fun. Like that for some reason they checked telephone experiment. <laughs> Was this yours? Maybe. <laughs> um, door buzzer. Uh, wide range flasher. Yeah, so there's there's all these ones you can do, and including if I can find it here real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. where did it go? There's some computer logic circuits in this. So this is early for computer logic circuits. Um, this one came out in sixty. Look up on your phone the sixty-five and one. Pretty sure we're talking like early seventies. The science fair sixty-five and one. Uh, let's see, solar powered. 
All right, here you go. So you can actually make an AM radio with this thing. Hot dog. And you're going to love this. Frequency shift key code practice oscillator. 72. 72. This one came out the year I was born. Hmm. Yeah. I just had my son look it up. Yeah, it's 1972, year I was born. Here's a fun one. Wireless AM transmitter. So you can build, now it's really low power. We're talking like milliwatt or two, but you can actually build this thing to where you can transmit using this to an AM radio across the house. It will go roughly three or 400 feet max. But Maybe I should buy one of these instead of that silly kit that you have. Right, yeah. <laughs> But this is, if you want to learn electronics, especially if you're a kid and you just want to learn some basic electronics, because it seems like no one does this anymore. I don't know why, but electronics is really not taught the way it used to. But because these are all the, the ones you that, that you do. Now is you go on Amazon and you punch up what you're looking for and you buy it. Yeah, I know. And and yet this thing survives. It's, and it's know, boards and 50-year-old piece of hats. electronics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's no, and I have I nothing wrong with you know, and I do want to say I, this, I have nothing wrong with like Raspberry Pi or the or I the like Arduinos and all that kind of stuff. Those are great. There's nothing wrong with those at all. Uh, they're a great tool to have and things like that to put into your your you know abilities to deal with. It's one of those things that knowing how the the rest of stuff has to work, mm-hmm. where you have all the components and you have like a meter and you've got the you know. Um, batteries that got to replace the battery terminal in this but so when you get these a few things you want to look for um i accidentally did that so that's just this sits back in there and just gets glued back this whole thing is just glued in place and you have to carefully take this thing off but this actually would frame that this thing is in here's the code oscillator and it actually is a you know dee 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 code oscillator the wiring and stuff like that and you know you can get new wires you can actually hilariously you can go on i think amazon even has these but you can get a whole new wire set for these or make your own if you want to um but a lot of these parts are really kind of neat the, the lamp is actually a painted bulb um and it's got you know like a relay here it's got the speaker you got here's where you hook your code oscillator in and stuff like that the battery terminals, though, do corrode because people forget the batteries and all this kind of stuff. You can buy new I've been people things. Before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, so have I. But you can buy this. And actually, I replaced this on the one that I got for my nephew, Knox. Hi, Knox, if you're watching. <laughs> um, but I replaced this piece on his because of the same problem. So on this thing, but it's really like this thing here just to get re-glued back in, and it's a solar panel. It's a little tiny solar panel. I mean, you know, you've got all the components, but all of this thing still works, and it's really easy to use. So you just these little spring-loaded pieces. So you take a wire, for example, and you just bend the spring over and put the wire in, and now it's attached to that part, and you hook it to whatever other component that it goes to. Let's say it goes to the capacitor. So that's one of the components. In the book, it gives you, I'm just going to open this up randomly, not to that one. <laughs> randomly except that one you didn't like. Well, it's a <laughs> high voltage generator, I don't think it's good. Really that sounds like that fun. <laughs> well, yeah, here's, here's high voltage. Can Have fun. that? Like now? <laughs> Probably. So here's an automatic nightlight. Right, so it uses the CDS cell, which is the little, the same kind of thing you have on like street lights to tell if it's light, night or dark. Mm-hmm. Hook to a lamp, which is funny, they're side by side, but there is actually a little cover here so it doesn't cause it to shut off. Uh, but here's how the wiring will look. But here's what the actual circuit diagram looks like. So this is the electronics diagram. This is what the wire should look like on the thing. And here's the neat thing. This is explaining what each of these parts actually do and what has become like Radio Shack's biggest thing. Like when their when the color computer came out, the books had like, I am the part of the program that does this. I, you know, and it was like the beautiful, simplest way to explain how any of this stuff worked. And this is not the starting of it, but this is near the beginning of where this started. But it just, it's, it's nice for teaching someone how to do basic electronics it's got a wiring chart basic operation you check off stuff as you go so it's one of those things that it is 
a really nice way to learn electronics in a basic level. And I want to say I paid 20 bucks for this thing plus shipping. Right. And I think I have to go back and look now to be honest with you, but so you get like, and there's with a 65 one, you get 65 projects in one box. <laughs> so obviously the 201 has 200, the 151 has 150 and stuff like that. So this right remote water level alarm. So it's actually kind of neat though. They explain the way all this stuff actually works. And then you can hear it. So the output of this goes to an AM radio. Hmm. Yeah. This frequency is transmitting to heard on a radio. So this actually is transmitting a water issue to an AM radio. Yep. So there's some really neat things. I mean, you know, think I'll say you can spend a lot of money on Amazon buying the same thing that does this. <laughs> For example, <laughs> So these little projects, they're simple. They are, there we go, probably a little bit better. I don't know if that's enough light for you. Hopefully it is. Okay. Um, they're simple, and if, if some parts go wrong with these, they're easy enough to change. You can take this thing out again, and you can replace the components individually. It, it, the spring goes all the way through, so you can just re, you know pop it out on the other side. Um like I said, this one's in really good shape. The few of the pieces are coming unglued a little bit, and I just need to re-glue them, but that's like the solar panels are really most obvious. And there's a slight bow to the plastic or to the, uh, the, the cardboard. It's not even plastic, just cardboard in there. But I could just fix that with some standoffs to just pop it back up a little bit. But these things, keep in mind, this is a 50-year-old kit. It looks like it was definitely safely stored somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the book is got a little i think what's called foxing if i recall foxing? right what's that mean i don't know the edge tearing um <laughs> but how fancy i mean the binding is still good on this yeah um uh, but these things are just one of those kit you know like these little kits and things like this and even the newer ones that use like arduinos and stuff like that mm -hmm. are really good to get your kids involved in if you can yeah um you know this this will take you from hey i'm playing with electronics to hey i'd like to get my ham license right you know and so many more things you can do mm -hmm. you know it's it's one of those things that it it can it something like this can open up such a large area of study and understanding for your kids that i really think is something to consider oh, yeah, anyway absolutely. so so like i said if you've actually seen one or if you've you know, if you've actually seen me if you remember these in radio shack make sure you let us know down there because we like we we had these at our bedford radio shack that was in the stone city mall which is now lowe's it's gone in other words um which i miss greatly you but miss it greatly. <laughs> i liked radio shack as a kid okay shocker i i don't know if i missed them all it had nothing in it the last 15 years to exist. i know it's, I there's so <laughs> many of them that way and it had like a bank and <laughs> yeah no, so that was a very unmall-esque thing <laughs> so when i was a kid that mall was full and it was full of people for a few minutes was right yeah, yeah it, for, it, for like 10 years it was, it was probably about right about 10 it was years. big um but it's Thing, oh, things like this over. well yeah and it was and uh, other yeah it was <laughs> it is what it is at this point but let us know if you have one of these if you still have you know if you use it with your kids or your grandkids maybe or possibly great grandkids i have friends who have great grandchildren i'm or like oh, use wow. it yourself. or if you use it for yourself just for fun or if you use it for yourself, because there's a project in there that did learning. something. You should never. That is absolutely true. You should never stop learning. You'll turn into a potato. Mm. Potatoes are good to eat, but not good to be. No, so. no, it's they're bad to be. That's for mm. sure. So anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed our look at the sixty-five and one. Yeah, make sure to like this video, even if you don't like it. Like it. Help <laughs> us out. We're just a little baby YouTube channel. We. We don't like make it, any money. Just like it. Yeah, oh, don't do that. Here. I think it does care if you just you like think? it. Yeah, it does. It does somewhat. Um, 
I also like the picture anyway. of this. The picture of these are funny. What, what's that guy doing? Guy Help us please, please our YouTube hardware. overlords. Yes. Yes, we, we are at this recording about 1650 subscribers. We do okay. We could do a lot better than that, though. Yeah. So, anyway, be sure to leave us a comment. You know, tell us what you think or what you don't think, I guess. Yeah, if you think Especially these are not potato, good. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we've had some potatoes comment on this channel. Anyway, I'm sure yeah, I mean, that happens. Yeah. Some turnips, radishes, just unpleasant, yeah. unpleasant vegetables. Yeah. I like potatoes. That happens, but I mean, everyone deals with that at some point. <laughs> Tech guys are like onions. They have layers. Oh, oh wait, that's ogres. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> kind of similar. Hey, until next time, I'm Timmy. I'm Justin. And I'm Nathan. And this is Three Old Tech Dudes. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us here on Three Old Tech Dudes. Please subscribe to us here on YouTube for more tech old and new, tinkering at the workbench, repairs, ham radio, electronics, computers, and more. Please like this video and share 3 OTD with your friends to help us grow the channel. We tweet at Three Old Tech Dudes One on Twitter, and you can keep up with us on Facebook. Just search for Three OTD and look for our logo. Thanks so much for watching.